This is the installation of the Fallout 4 Creation Kit. Before we get started, make sure you own a copy of Fallout 4 so you can use the Creation Kit properly. And if you have a copy of Fallout 4, then you should be good. So we want to go download the Creation Kit. So locate your web browser and go to creationkit.com. That's the Wikipedia for the Creation Kit. And you'll see Skyrim is over here, or the Elder Scrolls. So you're going to want to click on the Fallout 4 one. It's on the right side. And this is the home page of the Creation Kit wiki for Fallout 4. So right here it says install the Creation Kit. In order to use the Creation Kit, we have to download the Bethesda.net launcher. So go ahead and click that and it will begin to download. The download should only take a few seconds, and once it's downloaded, it should be located in your downloads folder. So go ahead and double click it, run, and this will take you through the setup of the Bethesda.net launcher. So we have finished setting up the Bethesda.net launcher. You can go ahead and press finish, and the Bethesda.net launcher should open. It may take a few minutes. Alright, at this point you should have the Bethesda.net launcher open and you will be greeted with a login screen. I imagine at this point you do not have an account, so in order to make an account, just click create account right here and you can create your account. And once you've created your account, you can go ahead and log in. Alright, once you sign in, you should be seeing this screen. And to download the creation kit, if you look on the left here it says creation kit for Fallout 4, click that and click install. During the installation, it will ask you where you would like to install the creation kit, and it should automatically have it uh, installed to the Fallout 4 game folder. That's the Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4. So that's where you want to install it. And you can also go ahead and make a desktop shortcut. Alright, once it's finished installing, you can go ahead and press play, and it will start. And it's going to ask you, it's going to prompt you with this window, just press yes. Alright, after that finishes, the creation kit should be up and running. And that is the installation of the Fallout 4 creation kit.